everyone and welcome back today we are making this local yam porridge so keep watching let's begin first i'm going to prepare the pepper mix i have some scotch bonnet pepper onion and some paprika pepper in here i'm going to roughly chop this up i don't want it smooth so i'm going to you know chop it up so that i have tiny specks of pepper in the meal The pepper mix should look like this when done. You see how rough it is? Yes. So at this time, I'm going to peel and cut the yam. I'm cutting them into tiny pieces because we're making porridge, of course. Well, not very tiny pieces, depending on how chunky you like your yam, cut it. After cutting, you want to rinse really well and then place in a cooking pot. Today's hog is for Messi Obiora watching from Nigeria. I'm glad you love the recipes. Please let me know where you're watching from so I can send you a hug in my next video. Alright, so we have the yam in the pot now. Next, I'm going to add some water. You want the water to be at the same level with the yam or slightly above the yam. Next, I'm going to add one seasoning cube, onion and some salt. I'm going to cover this and let it cook until it is done. So while the yam is cooking, in another pot I'm going to add some palm oil. Once it heats up, I'll go in with our roughly blended pepper mix. Like I said, this pepper mix has red bell pepper or paprika pepper that I used, onion and scotch bonnet pepper. I'm going to fry this for about a minute, then I'm going to go in with my uba. Uba is also called oil bean. Once I add that, I'm going to season with some seasoning cube and some ground shrimp powder or crayfish like we call it. Okay, so once I add that, I'm going to stir that in before I add my pre-cooked shaki and omo. I cut them into pieces and cooked them separately. You can also add fish if you prefer or use both. It's not too much, okay? So once I add the meat, I'm going to let this, you know, come together for about five minutes before I take it off the heat. So at this time I check on the yam and it is done. You know it is done when you poke with a knife like this and it breaks off easily okay. So at this time I'm going to pour in a sauce and of course nothing is going to go to waste in my kitchen so I scrape the pan. <laughs> yeah. Then I'm going to add in my vegetables. My vegetable of choice today is scent leaf also known as nchuan. Okay. So I'm going to add this in and cover so it can wilt for about a minute. I'll come back, give this a good, good mix and then I'll cover again so that everything can really come together so that the oil can really, you know, soak into that yam. Five minutes later, I gave it one good stir and you guys, the aroma was everything. It was nose blinding. Trust me, it was so good. That scent leaf gave it a whole new dynamics. The level was raised to a power hundred. You can use any vegetable you like, but try scent leaf with this. I'm sure you'll like it. Some people even add okra. This is called jabubo. It is amazing. Open your mouth. Take this one. Mm.